Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate. So a lot of times I'll have people on, and you can often tell that our mics are at different levels. And it was really annoying, but there's no real easy way to, to do a, a comparison. You could try to look at them on the screen and see if you're peaking around the same levels, but I'd like to have a mathematical way. So uh, you can get this script at the URL above me here. Uh, but before you do, please like this video. It really helps me out. All right, let's jump into the script. Now, I borrowed some of this from... I think it was a script from Lexicos. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Audio. It was the, the uh, interesting enough, Vista audio control functions. Uh, and then there was a second post on it here. And what I did was I took it, borrowed some of it. You can see there's an include to the VA function. So make sure you get that and save it in your library. And then, or save it where you want, and include it, or just put it in your library. I'll probably move this one into my library because I'll probably reference it a lot and I don't have to use an include. What I did here was no the other really weird thing and lexicos even mentions it that at least at this point in time i think it's a somewhat older script that you have to be using like obs or zoom something has to be monitoring your microphones or your devices that you're you're looking at and that's it's kind of voodoo i think he even said like he didn't look into it because it was just weird but i think that's pretty fascinating and right here i have i set how many samples you want to take during the call now i put it all into a function that's get audio and loop count so that's if you want to do 300 samples you know you could do 500 so however many you want right however many you think is enough to do it and you'll see how this works here in a second i run it twice so this is my function call i run twice the first time i store it here the second time i store it in two and then i compare the two so when i kick it off let me go ahead and launch it and so it says begin test one that is this message box here Notice this counter, I put it as static, and that way when it comes back, it's going to keep track of that. Because usually inside a function, your variables, they're local. The scope is local, and they don't get shared. They're not, they basically uh, cease to exist when you go outside the function. But when you declare it as static, it'll keep track of it after every time you call it. And so this is begin test one, and that's why here I put the counter, so this increments it to the first one, otherwise it would have been empty. And begin test one, so when I hit OK, which I'll do here in a second, it's going to jump into here, get this peak meter thing, and then we loop over taking samples. And I, don't, I didn't go in and study the, as you know me, right? I don't go in and dig out how it's doing it, because I don't really care. But it's it gets them, and I'm storing uh, them. This is going to show you what it is in the tooltip as it's ongoing. But I'm creating a sum, a total for it. And then at the end of this part, after the loop, this I know how many times, because I use... The loop count right so we divide the sum by the loop count and that'll give us an average for now the multiplying it by 100 i think lexicos actually did that as well it's just more meaningful otherwise it's between zero and one and this makes it when you do it this way you can think of it more as like a percentage right either way they're really percents the the other way without it is a percent but it doesn't have a percent sign so it'd be decimals it's just easier to interpret it this way so we call it um and it returns back and then goes into the next one, which is right here, and does it again. And then I just put in a message box. So if you had three or four people you wanted to test, you could easily add one, two, three, four, whatever you want to call them, and then show, because I'm storing them in variables, I'm capturing that and saving it so I can compare it side to side, right? So I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and talk. Now we can see the level here. Uh, we're at 120, 200, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the value at that one point in time, this was 37.3, and that was 300, 300. Now, this is where we would begin the second test. Now, what I'm going to do is find my audio control. Maybe I can alt tap to it, which I don't see there. Um, so, if you go to your system tray and right click on the icon, you should have it there, and click sounds, it'll bring up this. I can go to recording, and then here to blue yeti and i'm gonna go to i think properties yeah and levels now here that what you can see my mic was at 100 percent. now initially when i did this by the way i lowered it in obs and it didn't drop and then it dawned on me well wait a minute if this this tool that we have here isn't monitoring what obs is capturing it's monitoring what my mic is picking up and so i need to lower it here let's drop it down and let's say like roughly half uh i'm gonna hit oh, that's interesting i would think i could hit apply but i'm gonna hit okay uh, and now we'll come back to our tool and begin test two. So this is just waiting for when I hit okay, it's gonna start this same process again and you'll see it'll say test two. It'll give a little counter, you know, up to 300 and it'll be showing us the values. So, okay, I'm gonna keep talking about the same level as I was talking before, but these numbers when we're done should be. Um, so 
Now it finished that and notice the test one was at 83 on average and the second one was at 12, right? And I probably should go ahead and drop off some of these decimals. Maybe I'll do that before I upload it. Uh, that's a simple, easy thing to, to tweak. And so you would, you know, if you had this big of a disparity, you would either adjust your microphone or get your colleague, whoever you're interviewing, talking to, get them to adjust theirs. And you want them, you know, ballpark. This way we have a number to compare, right? This is what I really liked about this. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, you can get the screen. I don't have it in front of me here, but it was, what was it? Uh, I forget, honestly forget what it was, but I'll, I'll put it up uh, easily editing it after. And I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this was an interesting function I found from Lexicos. It does a lot of other stuff way beyond what, you know, I, I started looking at it and I'm like, okay, I just don't care. So I hope it helps and cheers.